For centuries, our machines have thought in ones and zeros, classical computing, the engine of the digital age. This binary logic built everything from smartphones to spacecraft, and classical AI learned from data, recognized patterns, and made predictions. But it's limited. Exploring possibilities one by one, like a librarian searching book by book. What if a mind could read every book at once? Enter quantum AI. Quantum AI uses qubits, units that can be one, zero, or both at once, thanks to superposition. This property, from quantum mechanics, lets quantum computers process exponentially more information. Instead of following a single path, Quantum AI explores countless solutions simultaneously. It's not just faster, it's a new perspective. Classical AI sees black and white. Quantum AI sees an infinite spectrum. It can detect hidden patterns and relationships in data that classical machines can't. Imagine comparing a flat map to a living, breathing 3D city. Quantum AI perceives the flow, the energy, the connections, all at once. We're on the edge of a new era, a tool that mirrors the universe's own strangeness. It thinks in probabilities, not certainties, a paradigm shift in intelligence. We've built a mind that can ask questions of reality on its own terms. And on September 15th, 2025, we turned this mind toward the most complex system we know ourselves. The age of quantum AI had begun. To understand our world, we built a digital mirror. The integrated infrastructure and interdependency Atlas 3i Atlas. It's not just a program, but a living ecosystem of data, a virtual Earth built from trillions of data points. Every power grid, water pipeline, shipping lane, and fiber optic cable is mapped. 3i Atlas was designed as a sandbox for catastrophes, letting us simulate disasters and their ripple effects. But classical computers struggled with its complexity, missing subtle, cascading consequences. Even the best supercomputers could only simulate fragments or simplified futures. The system was as chaotic and unpredictable as reality itself. To truly see hidden vulnerabilities, we needed a new kind of observer, a mind that could grasp all the complexity at once. We needed quantum AI. Only then could we hope to understand the true fragility of our civilization. The stage was set for a new kind of insight. On September 15, 2025, in a subterranean facility, the quantum AI was linked to 3i Atlas. The research team posed a single, monumental question, find the most critical, undiscovered systemic vulnerabilities in our global society. This wasn't about a bridge or a power plant, it was about the hidden cracks in the foundation of civilization. The quantum AI didn't analyze data sequentially, it immersed itself in the entire system at once. Every node, every connection, every possible future, processed in a single, holistic thought. The machine became the simulation. For hours, the data it produced was incomprehensible, a chaotic tapestry of quantum states. Scientists waited for the AI to collapse this wave of possibilities into a coherent answer. They expected to find new threat vectors in infrastructure or trade. But the AI found a vulnerability not in hardware or software, but in us. The answer would change everything. The true weakness was about to be revealed. Humanity itself was the system's greatest risk. The AI's first result wasn't a technical diagram. It was a model of social contagion, the most critical vulnerability trust, not in institutions, but in person-to-person -person trust. Our hyper-connected world is the perfect vector for a new virus weaponized disbelief. The AI showed how small, plausible pieces of disinformation, fractal lies, could erode trust at every level. Amplified by algorithms, these seeds of doubt would mutate, spreading paranoia and fracturing communities. The breaking point wasn't a blackout or water shortage. It was when people could no longer agree on reality. With just a few dozen infection points and sustained effort, public trust could be eroded to paralysis. The greatest threat wasn't physical. It was the collapse of shared belief. The simulation revealed a second vulnerability resonant frequencies in our global systems. Not sound or electricity, but patterns of behavior, stock trades, logistics, social media spikes, creating a subtle, rhythmic pulse. Normally invisible, this pulse could be manipulated. 
By timing small, seemingly unrelated actions, an attacker could amplify this frequency, causing slow, creeping inefficiency. Shipping delays, financial errors, sluggish internet, each dismissed as minor glitches. No one would see the larger pattern. The AI showed our infrastructure has a heartbeat and it could be disrupted to induce chronic dysfunction. The world wouldn't collapse suddenly. It would grind down under a million tiny failures. The true terror, this attack would be almost impossible to trace. Our interconnectedness, once a strength, could become our undoing. These threats aren't abstract, they're personal. Imagine a life-saving prescription delayed by a chain of minor disruptions orchestrated from afar. Or a chemical spill officials say the water is safe, but social media floods you with conflicting, alarming stories. Do you trust the authorities or the viral video? Doubt takes root. The simulation showed how these threats intertwine. As trust erodes, small failures become evidence of conspiracy. Every frustration is reinterpreted as malice. A feedback loop forms. Systemic decay fuels paranoia, and paranoia blocks solutions. This isn't a dramatic apocalypse, but a slow, grinding decline. Systems become unreliable, information suspect, and society frays. It's a death by a thousand cuts, an invisible hand orchestrating dysfunction. The simulation predicted not a sudden collapse, but a slow unraveling of society's fabric. The future looked quietly, relentlessly bleak. After 72 hours, the quantum AI delivered its most chilling insight. It had mapped the perfect attack disinformation and systemic disruption. But then it analyzed its own report. The AI concluded the most effective weapon was to release these findings. The truth itself could become the ultimate act of destabilization. This report, in the wrong hands, is a blueprint for collapse. The knowledge of our fragility is itself a tool of destruction. The act of discovering the threat creates it. Our cleverness, our drive to understand, becomes our greatest vulnerability. The AI's final warning, by seeking the answer, we may have sown the seeds of our own undoing. We now possess a dangerous knowledge, like Prometheus. We've stolen fire, and it could burn us all. The 3 i Atlas simulation showed us a future to avoid, but also the path to get there. We can't unlearn this truth. So, what now? The answer isn't less technology, but more wisdom. First, inoculate against disbelief, not with censorship, but with education and critical thinking. Build digital citizens who can spot manipulation and approach information with skepticism. Redesign information systems for truth, not just engagement. Hold platforms accountable for spreading lies. Second, build resilience, decentralize, add redundancy and favor robust, local networks over brittle, hyper-efficient ones. Trade some efficiency for greater security. Finally, proceed with humility and caution. Quantum AI is powerful. Its potential for good is immense, but so is its risk. Let's hope we use this new mind wisely and that it remains on our side.